goodness. I am doing a serious topic, so I have notes because I really um, I want to do it justice. And the topic can be a little controversial sometimes, and I'm going to try and keep it from getting that way. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, there are people out there in the world who just don't have good intentions for the rest of the world. There are people out there who are only out for themselves. I'm not going to give this group of people a name. Um, we'll just say that these people are abusers, okay? These are people who um, see no issue with lying, cheating, stealing, manipulating, and taking advantage of other people in order to better themselves. Uh, by, you know, from my perspective, I would say this would literally be the definition of an evil person. Someone who is in, it just doesn't care who is in their way, they will take them down if it means they can better themselves. And what can be really dangerous with these types of people is they often have a skill at being artificially likable. I, I said, you know, these people will, will manipulate other people. And that's part of the manipulation. Um, you know, these people can act friendly to you and kind of lure you in. Or these people can maybe, you know, they're, they can be very toothpaste and they may act, you know, if you're in a work situation, these people may act one way in front of their, your boss and they may act another way, you know, in front of you. Like, you know, this person could be bullying you at work and then they could be, um, you know, sucking up to the boss and telling the boss that you're just lying. You know, this could be a similar type of behavior here. This is, you know, just the lying and the manipulating. Um, but a lot of times, you know, these people, they know how to turn on, like, this false face, you know, almost like a mask they can put on and, you know, be someone else. Uh, even when they have bad intentions, they know how to turn a situation and make it look like they have good intentions or it's hard to explain it, it it's twisty and you know some people it's hard for you to know if someone is lying to you or being um, disingenuous it it can be hard for you to have these types of people around in your life um, personally for me I just don't need people in my life who aren't going to be real and upfront with me and I I watch out very carefully for you know certain types of behaviors of of, of people uh, because I very carefully guard my inner inner circle you have to for your own mental health uh, so I wanted to make a video to kind of talk about just how you can learn to watch for these things and just something to be aware of and be mindful of when you're out in the world meeting new people. Uh, not everyone, unfortunately, has good intentions for you and I wanted to talk about how you can kind of, some things you can look for or so you can spot um, these types of people who may really have bad intentions and may be looking to take advantage. Uh, so, like I said, you know, these people can be really twisty and they can, you know, act like they are your friend, uh, but in reality they may just want to steal your purse, you know, they, and they're out there. Um, you know, if you get past, you know, the initial stage of meeting someone like this and they make their way into your life and they start to kind of become a friend or a fixture in your life, uh, you may start to notice little things as that fake this um, that they put up uh, falls off uh, so you know they may they 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 may find it hard to take criticism if you ever criticize them they may blow up in your face uh, they may deny everything a big one that I notice is these people tend to play the victim a lot and they like to uh, blame other people 
for their problems in life. They don't take responsibility for their own actions. It's always, look what so-and-so did to me. Look what this person did to me. How dare they do this to me? Someone's always doing something to them. It's never their fault. Um, and so often if you're in their lives and you're nearby, things may be your fault a lot if you are with one of these people. Um, so, you know, be on the lookout for that. You know, if, if you're you know, in a relationship with someone or friends with someone and anytime something goes wrong, all of a sudden it becomes your fault because you're nearby, uh, you're seeing that, you know. Um, and then, you know, it can also be paralyzing because eventually, you know, you, be you become powerless when nothing is your fault and you have no control over anything because everyone's just doing things to you all the time. Uh, so these people may just kind of be stuck in a rut in life, not going anywhere because everything around them is everyone else's fault. And so they don't take responsibility for their actions and they don't move forward. So that's some insight on that as well. Um, my notes here. I don't want it to be too long. Um, I just, I want it to be precise. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I'm really, I mean, the biggest thing is, you know, you'll notice um, the lying and the cheating and the stealing and taking advantage of others. And so if you, if some, if they're, if you see them, you know, they're telling you to lie for them and they're, you notice they're lying constantly about things. And it's often things that you're like, why would someone even lie about that? And usually it's lies about things to make them look better or they want you to lie to make them look better. Uh, those are things you'll notice and they see no issue with you know the manipulation of other people and lying to other people and they see no issue with taking advantage of other people they you know they may say oh you know I stole from this person and it was great and you know and they they may see no advantage They're like well because I got good shoes like you may and you need to realize that if they're lying to other people and you're seeing it and they're taking advantage of other people they're probably gonna lie to you and they're probably gonna take advantage of you uh, so just be on the lookout for these things I don't have people in my life who I see are constantly lying to people around them because I know if they lie all the time they're going to lie to me too and I don't need someone lying to me. I don't need to be trying to be a lie detector test all the time. I'm not a great lie detector so I don't, I mean, I don't have time or energy to deal with that. So that's a big thing for me is I watch for people and I see if they lie all the time. And if someone's just a, a big liar, I just know thank you. Um, someone who takes advantage of others, it, I don't have to see that more than once to be like, out, no. I don't need someone who will take advantage of other people in my life because I know if you're going to take advantage of other people like that, you're going to take advantage of me. You know, I don't need that. Nobody needs that. Uh, and cheating and stealing, you know, it's all the same. If I see someone doing that, I know that that means they do it to everyone. It's not just a one-off thing usually. I mean, maybe someone might do a one-off thing where they lie, cheat, or steal, and then they feel bad about it, and then they have guilt, and they have remorse, and they don't do it anymore. But that has not been my experience with, you know, this certain type of individual that, you know, I've encountered. And this is all personal advice. This is not professional medical advice or professional psychological, psychological advice or by any means. This is just personal experience um, dealing with two-faced people with bad intentions and unfortunately you know these people can be really dangerous and I if you don't know what to look for and you don't realize you're out there they're out there the only way to learn is to uh, go through the experience in dealing with one of these people and I'd love to save everyone some pain uh, so these are just my personal experiences and just my thoughts and things I wanted to share about this if you've dealt with any of this I'd love to hear your experiences uh, pop some notes in the comments below um, and you know share uh, how you kind of can see when someone's got bad intentions for you so we can help other people realize you know be able to shine a light through this, the mask there and so people know when others might not have the best intentions. Uh, anyway guys, I will talk to you next week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you catch the next video. Bye.